Today we're going to be working on a MakeTalk Bravos. Just go ahead and insert a putty knife right where I'm doing it. And you're going to release the two uh, clamps that are holding the, uh, the whole tap. Also, this is the same model than um, Whirlpool Cabrio and Kenmore Oasis. So, the repair is the same. We're going to go ahead and remove the top ring by loosening these tabs. Just go all the way around and get all these tabs loose and then the ring is going to come right off. Just like I'm showing in this video. Sir screwdriver, if you can do it with your hand, just put some pressure down and then with your uh, fingers get them loose all the way around. I'd rather to do it with a screwdriver. All the way around. Now over here in this corner is going to be a hose um, and that's for the circulation pump and it has a clamp right there you can release that clamp with a pair of uh, channel locks or pliers just unclamp it and then move it out out of the hose and then you'll be able to remove the, the hose and be able to go ahead and remove the whole top ring When you remove the clamp, just trying to walk the um, um, hose out. Sometimes it can be. This is the clamp, as you can see. If you can do it by hand, just unclamp it with my hands. But it's better to do it with a uh, pair of channel locks or something. It's easier. Then the hose can be stuck in there. But you know, if you um, move it side to side, it will come loose. That's how you remove the top ring. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this tub to be able to get to the shifter. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this dust cap. There's a screw and it's a 11 millimeter socket or 7 sixteenths. Got a 7 16 bit on my drill so it's easier to get it out. I'm going to remove this agitator part. And we're going to go ahead and remove the tub hub. That was just a rubber band on, on the top. That was no part of the washer. And the tub hub is six um, fillet screws all the way around you remove all those six screws and then the hub should come right out
as you see I'm removing all six screws and this hub should come out sometimes uh, the top hub brings two parts and one of them it doesn't want to come out so there you go that's one part of the top hub right there and this is the part that sometimes it gets stuck in there and does not want to come out and this is going to be that case and they sell two special to remove this and in the description of this video I'm going to put a link if you run into a problem trying to remove this tub you can purchase this tool and the uh, link below in this uh, video as you see I'm putting on Dolly D40 but it's not working at all the tub hub and the tub are stuck in the shifter I use this tool to remove it but sometimes if you put a too much force it can break and there it is it was a big mission trying to get this loose and get it to come out so if you run into a problem trying to remove this hub and uh, trying to remove the tub like I say I'm gonna put a part in the description this is the tub hub if you break the hub trying to remove it or anything this is the part it has the uh, new version and the old version so you can go ahead and get the part number from there and this is how it looks as a washer the washer have to stay there all the time sometimes I come loose it might come loose so you put it back in there it has like a metal washer in, in the other side if you have a problem removing this stove this is the tool that you're gonna need to remove it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 9mm Allen wrench to remove the uh, rotor Sometimes this rotor is hard to get it out. Most of the time, if you get the center screws uh, loose, uh, has like a, like a magnet, so you just force it out, just like so. Now we're going to remove the stator. It has four screws on the stator. And with a drill, with a screwdriver bed, just remove all four screws. Now we're going to remove the harness. It's a Y um, three terminal harness. There is no way that you can connect it wrong. You disconnect it and it only goes one way. 
and then is the black harness which is the um, stator sensor uh, it's a rotor position sensor this sensor is the one that controls the position of the rotor it has uh, two taps on the top so it only goes one way once you remove it there's no way to put this um, two harness um, run back on the stator it has one two taps and then those two taps goes in the two female clamps right on the stator one here and one there one here and one there so there's no way to go wrong now we're gonna go ahead and remove this nut it's loose but I'm gonna show you guys how to work if you're trying to save the uh, metal uh, shifter and only replacing the bearings If you don't want to damage the um, shifter uh, teeth, um, go ahead and put a piece of rag and put uh, some channel locks or something to clamp it in place. And then you use another pair of channel locks or crazy wrench to remove the uh, knot. just like so once you get to the bottom of the machine you will be able to see the knot that I'm talking about you can watch my other videos where I got better pictures for this repair at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to put the uh, rotor back on and you will see the nut. Now you hit it with a hammer, and then this shifter shoe fell inside the tub. You want to make sure it don't hit the tub, but you can crack the tub. The tub is very strong, so I don't break this in. This is the shifter coming out. And the piece that you see in the middle is the uh, tub seal. That's the one prevents the machine from leaking water and most of the time the bearing goes bad I'm trying to turn it right now and I can feel that the bearing is really bad it's making noise while I'm moving it um, by hand this is the uh, part number and this is the uh, uh, bearing kit we're gonna do a unboxing of the bearing kit and the tool that you need to install this bearing kit this is where it comes in the box this is the middle shifter this is the top seal this is the bearing kit the washer and the nut Here's the adhesive and grease. That's the adhesive right there. This is a, a grease to put on the bearings. And this is the uh, spacer. Now we're going to do the unboxing of this um, part, which is, is the tool that you need to install these bearings in a proper way. By the way, both um, item springs instructions to how to install uh, how to install the part and the, this tool in the proper way.
and this is what it comes in the box. This part is to remove the bearings, as you're going to see in a minute how it works. And this other part is to uh, put the bearings in place in a proper way. it this is what you guys need to make sure the bearings are where they need to be this white piece of tube is to um, help to put the top seal in place this is how you use this bar you hit the bottom bearing first and just hit it in a triangle don't hit the same spot all the time just hit top bottom side side top bottom side side don't hit uh, the same spot all the time as you see it comes right off now we're gonna do the top bearing from the other side there you go and then we're doing the bearing in the other side. So you see, I put it in one side, hit three times, put it in the other side, I hit like three times, and that's how you do it. If you hit in the same spot all the time, the bearing gets crooked, and then you can damage the tub. And there's the bearing. Now the two bearings are removed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean uh, both sides and make sure it's no uh, nothing clogging the uh, area you find like grease and pieces of, of the old adhesive there so make sure you remove everything just use a piece of rag or something to clean everything up Just make sure it's clean like I say in both um, sides where the bearing was sitting on and the uh, top seal As you see, clean it much as I can, and that should be good enough. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to put grease in the outside of the uh, bearing and the paperwork set inside and outside of the bearing. Now we're going to set the bearing in place. The bearing is not going to go all the way in and that's why uh, that's what the tool is for to make sure this tool sits the uh, bearing in place. Now we're gonna to, uh, we're gonna try to clean a little bit of extra grease on the top because after we set this bearing, the adhesive is gonna go around this area. So we want to make sure it's no grease because otherwise the adhesive is not gonna glue correctly. put the top part of the uh, tool just like so we put the spacer and then we put the washer now you see me put in this washer and I cut this part of this video, but I had a problem with this washer. When I put the bearing and I pulled the tool, uh, the washer got crooked twice. And I'm going to show you in a, in a minute what I'm talking about. grease on the outside of the bearing and then when it's inside just put the grease in the inside part of the bearing now just set the bearing in place and then put the other part put this in the other part of the tool and this is like a, another uh, so, sort of bearing to help you to uh, put the, the two bearings in place but this is part of the tool this is not part of the washing machine so once you tie this uh, not then the tool do the job to put the uh, two bearings in place just like so So I'm going to show you right now the product that I ran to. This is the washer that got crooked inside. If you put the washer, as you see inside of this picture, you can see the washer is crooked. And it, and it happened twice. So this is the solution that I found. You put the bearing on the tool and then put the washer on the tool then just sit it in place just like so don't put the washer first then go ahead and redo it again if you're running this problem I tried to do it right from the beginning because I see a couple of videos on YouTube and they all say go ahead and put the spacer and then put the washer and then put the tool and that's not the way it should be because if you got the washer uh, laying, laying it not just uh, laying it in the floor 
then the washer is going to get crooked so go ahead and just put it on the uh, tool and that will resolve that problem now I have to uh, get everything out and then go ahead and put it back again And this way, that washer doesn't get crooked because it goes in with the bearing and the tool at the same time. Now what we're going to do is, we put the shifter right in there. After we put the middle shifter, I got a, like a small screw that I have in there, but a lot of people use a piece of wood on the top to get it in place because sometimes it's not, going, it's not going through all the way right away so I'm not hitting the shifter I put like a small screws on top and this is not the screws that goes on the shifter this is the small screws that I have around there so I was not hitting the shifter I was hitting the top of the screws to get it in place but if you don't have a small screws to fit in there just go ahead and use a piece of wood this is the knot uh, that goes uh, that secures the um, shifter and this is what I was telling you about earlier you put a piece of rack and then to prevent from damaging the new shifter if you're replacing the shifter the old one you don't have to be doing this but and the new one just put a use a piece of rack because you can damage I mean it's a very strong part but you don't want to take any chances this part runs between eighty to a hundred dollars, so you don't want to take any chances in damage, damaging the part. Just you know, tighten it until you feel tension on it. Don't go crazy and tighten it all the way, cause you're putting pressure on the bottom uh, bearing, and it feels very good. Spinning very uh, loose. Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, great plate and we're going to go ahead and put the uh, sensor, the rotor precision sensor like I was telling you is only one way to go you will see the two tops on the uh, uh, sensor and then it clamps in there And then the white harness, as you see, is three terminals on it. This stator has two metal uh, plates that goes one on the back and one on the front. And when you put the one in the front, the one in the back fails. And when you put the one in the back, the one in the front fails. So just trying to have patience and then trying to put both, trying to put it in place or trying to put the a great plate on the uh, tub and it was falling off so just be patient and trying to do it until you get it right as you see it keep failing so I finally got uh, both plates to be sitting up in place I see the one in the back was sitting and then I'm putting the one in the front and then you go ahead and put the uh, the screws they holds the uh, stator
screws make sure you tie all four screws yes like so Trying to clean it if you already got it apart. Now we're going to put the um, um, rotor in place. And again with a 9mm uh, Allen wrench. Just make sure it goes all the way in and again don't go crazy and torque it over tighten it because then when you got to service this machine again it's going to be really hard to get it off got that part done now we're gonna do the uh, top seal as you see in the uh, paperwork sets go ahead and put grease in the inside of the top seal and then put the uh, adhesive on the outside of the top seal I'm cleaning uh, grease residue from the bearing to make sure the adhesive is going to do the the job right as you see it has the adhesive on the outside and grease in the inside now you put it in place, trying to push it down with the uh, my hand, but that's why the um, white pipe that comes with the uh, uh, bearing tool is for. Now you set the uh, white pipe on the top, and you just hit it with a hammer. Just hit into it and goes in place. It doesn't take much for it to go down. And there's in place. Now the adhesive. Just go ahead and do this all the way around the edge of the uh, top seal. and this shield seal all the way around you want to make sure you put this top seal right to prevent the machine from leaking water and this is the main issue why those bearings goes bad if the uh, top seal fails uh, water gets in the bearing and then that's how the bearing uh, goes bad. Now I'll go ahead and put the top and go ahead and put the top hub and just position where the six holes for the screws goes and then go ahead and put all six screws and secure the top hub with the top
after you go ahead and have all six screws in place just go one by one and make sure they're tight again don't over tighten it because in the future if you need to replace this hub or to do this job again it's going to be hard to remove those screws I put the uh, agitator back in there and put the uh, screws back in the center. And for last, just put the dust cap on, and we are trying the machine on the uh, spin cycle and it's not doing the airplane noise anymore this machine was very loud due to the bearings being bad the customer says this machine sounds like an airplane your machine sounds like an airplane is the top bearing now we're testing it with clothes and everything is working beautiful. If you're in Tampa, Florida, we can do this repair for you. Just give us a call.